Right up, folks, a very, very quick video on showing you how to do your injector test. So first of all, get um, six cups, um, ideally jars, otherwise plastic cups is actually fine. It might melt through it at some point in the air, but it's fine for the moment. So six plastic cups, carefully pull out each of the injectors, put them in, label each cup, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, head into the back. I've already done this, so open up the cover here. Gently, um, with the power off on the cart, lever out the plug just here from the uh, blue socket and then put in the jump. All you need is a, a jumper wire, so just normal two wires at that. In, uh, as you can see here, the bottom left and then the top connector. And I'll quickly just show you this quickly, excuse my hand, etc. There you go, and you can sort of see the curve, the curvature on the top, on the top where my, thumb, where my finger is. So those two there, put it in there, turn the power on. Or if you haven't got a battery cut off switch, it will turn on automatically straight away. So no need to turn ignition on. Comes on at that, and all you do then is you just test. So do this. So right now you the fuel pump's on. So just, and then obviously, and then obviously you have it with the other hand, you can look at each injector, make sure it's spraying out. And obviously right now it sprays out evenly. So basically you can do this a number of times. And then when you finish, when you've done that, you can then put a piece of, put a piece of um, flat wood on here, turn off the, um, the pump, and then take each cup, each cup in a row, which I'll film in a second. Cool. Yeah, so a quick close up. Basically, you'll make sure they're not leaking um, afterwards as well. So when you spray them, make sure they're still not dribbling as well. So these ones here aren't dribbling at all. Um, also, when you, turn, when you first turn the car on, it, it pumps that it, sort of, well, it, the pressure that builds up sort of suddenly does squirt a tiny bit out into each cup. But afterwards, you know, there shouldn't be any more in there. So, so yeah, these, these, these to me are very, very good. Um, let me just do the next part. Right, so that's that done. So when I'm looking at these, the reason these ones here are misted is because I've used these cups already on, a, on doing this previous test. So that's what I misted, not because it's you know, any other issue. These are obviously going misty as well, being like the plastic cups. Ideally, you'd want to use small jars, but I couldn't get any, and this, to be fair, is fine for now. So I'm looking along all of these lines. I looked at them really closely, and number three is 100% a bit lower than the other ones. So I'm gonna put some extra attention onto that on there. And I did notice that on there when it was spraying, spread more of a line rather than a fine mist. So it's definitely not quite right on that on number three. But the other ones there all look spot on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm now gonna safely get rid of this fuel. Um, and actually I'll probably can off those cups now that I, as I've used them um, twice, those ones there. But yeah, that's the test, super, super easy. Um, Big thing is you know, you know the clips um occasionally break, the seals are often sort of knackered, so it's hundred percent worth replacing the clips and the seals onto the injectors plus the um the two little copper washers as well. Um yeah, so you know, anyway, there's, there's some tips there, but it's but basically it's an easy thing to do. You know, you can whip off the air filter, whip the injectors out in you know um five or ten minutes basically to do the whole lot. So it's just, it's a nice easy test. Cool. Cheers.